Hey guys, Airpods back again with another review, this time with the the Bogue F16 Cardo Tank. Uh, low resistance. This thing, straight off the bat, I can tell you, fucking rocks my world. It is really good, guys. You should definitely check it out, whichever website you find it. The F16 Bogue. It is really, really good. Now, if you watched my previous videos, you would have known that I... I'm more biased towards cardamizers these days because I find cardamizers are uh, where it's at. Uh, that's where the flavor's at and the throat hit. Um, some people would disagree. That's just my opinion. I think cardos are the way to go. And this F16 tank is the place to be. It's, it's I am happy sitting at this place. Um, you know, this is great because uh, if you have watched my previous uh, videos, you would know that when I first started vaping, I actually enjoyed clearomizers because I enjoyed the fact that I could see how much liquid I had in there, um, which cardamizers generally don't, uh, uh, you know, supply you with. You know, it's just a clo usually it's a closed case that you put uh, things in, uh, put the juice in, and uh, you generally can't see how much juice you have left unless you get a clear cardamizer and. Um, but to me, the F16 uh, tank actually combines both worlds perfectly. It gives me the flavor of a cardamizer, um, but I can see how much juice I have left until I have to fill it up next. To me, that is the, the place you want to be. That is where you would want to call home. Um, so let me just take this off real quick. So if I give you a close view there, you can see this is obviously the tank or this clear bit and the cardamizer is running through there. Now it's, a, it's, it's more or less a two piece setup. So that cardamizer actually uh, uh, slips down through this seal here and then you actually inject um, juice from the top. Um, and it does not leak at all. It is the greatest thing I think since I have started vaping these, you might find it uh, like a different brand or something similar, you know, and, and it's going to do well. But I'm talking about the Bogue F16 right now, and it is a performer. It is a grunt. It, you can do whatever you want. You can see there's a little bit of liquid in there. I'm actually doing the review now because I'm about to fill it so I can show you how to fill it. You can do whatever you want, and there's nothing, no leaks. It, it's great. There's a seal on the top and there's a seal on the bottom and it is secure. It is great. Um, so, and then you'll just put your drip tip at the top there. I'll just take that off real quick. And you see, it's just, it's what it is, it's actually just a normal cardamizer. It, it, it's a low resistance um, and you'll initially fill when, when you get this brand new, you'll actually have a cardamizer that's out of the tank. It's not in the tank like this it is now. Um, and you'll actually fill it up from the top like a normal cardamizer, like, like you would with a normal cardamizer. Wait till it drips from the bottom. You know it's full. Let that sit for a little bit, and then you just <laughs> whack it up in there, basically. Um, and then you put your drip tip, whatever drip tip you got, you just, just whack it in there, and, it, and it's really good. Um, so uh, I'm just about to fill it because I'm virtually on empty now. So I'll give you um, a quick show on how you actually fill these things. If you're just new to to, um, to uh, cardamizer tanks, th this will be a great help for you. So what you do is you have to take the drip tip off, which you've already seen me do just then. And now this allows for the, the cardamizer itself, you just grip it from the thread, give it a bit of a twist, and look, see? And you just pull it down, and now there's a gap. You can see the gap between the tank and the cardamizer. That's actually where you'll insert your uh, blunt syringe full of uh, e-liquid. So we'll just go ahead and do that now, so I'll show you. Here we are, guys. So this is my blunt syringe. This is my mix here, which I'm, uh, I use a 50-50 blend, 10 milligram. 
and just suck it up. These particular tanks will take up to uh, four milliliters, which is absolutely massive. It'll keep you vaping all day, all night, not, a, not an issue at all. Okay, th that'll do for uh, sort of a demo purpose. So what we'll do is now you can see that that gap that I showed you before. So all you do is you don't need to take this cardamizer all the way out. You just sort of slide it down a bit and you put the needle in the gap. You can see the needle in there and then you just press down. You can see I'm filling it, filling it. Okay. And then all you got to do from there is push it up. The cardamizer, you just push it up and look, it's at the top there, see? And then you whack your drip tip, whatever drip tip you got, you just put it in. There you go. So I'm rocking it out on a, on a Proveri uh, at uh, 4.3 volts. This is a low resistance at 1.6 ohms. So it's, it's, it's a really good combination. It really is. You should check it out, definitely. If you're umming and ahhing, if you're not sure if you should get an F16 tank um, cardamizer, you know, you, you should definitely check it out. They're really, really good. It's just, they're really, they give you a massive throat here, especially if, you, if you've got a variable voltage, a VV device, you, you at least need to give one unit a go, at least. Just, just try it out. If you're sitting on the fence and you're not sure, they're really good. It's, it's really intense actually. Um, now, like I said at the start of the video, you know, I started off on clearomizers, so it was the Stardust. We all know about the Stardust. Some people love it, some people hate it. I liked it when I first started out, so um, I wanted something that I could see when it was time to fill up, but I wanted the flavor of the Carnomizer. So I bought the F16, and the F16 fucking rocks my world. Try it out. <sighs> yeah, this thing's great. Woo! It's, it's a really, really nice throat hit. Um, it's a really good flavour to boot. And, um, yeah, so, uh, and, it, and it's very, very sturdy. Like I said before, it's a bit of a grunt. I've actually dropped this. I know it's a shock horror. I dropped the Favari on my tiled kitchen here. and um, But luckily, it it went, uh, you know, cardamizer first rather than body first. And um, what happened was the tank never got damaged at all. The cardamizer didn't get damaged at all. It was, out of all things, the drip tip. You know, the drip tip snapped on the thread. Um, so I, I probably could have got it out, but, you know, I didn't, I didn't bother. I just sort of changed cardamizer. So um, all you need to do once you buy one of these units itself is you buy replacement cardamizers. So you don't have to buy like a, a $5 tank um, every time that comes with the cardamizer. You buy the tank, then you buy cut, like the, the replacement cardamizers that, that go into it. So that's the really cool thing. So once you buy the cardamizer, the, the tank that comes with the, with the cardamizer, it might cost you five dollars or so. Um, but the actual replacement cardamizers only cost you know a dollar seventy or something like that. Something really really low. So um, you know it's really good. And, and the way the way that this works is so you fill up your liquid. Then maybe you can see there's a little hole there. You see that hole? And there's one on the other side as well. That's the other hole there. They're one. They're pre-punched. They call it pre-punched one millimeter holes. So you don't have to do anything yourself. You literally just whack it up in the tank, and you and you fill out with liquid, and you're you're ready to go. But as I said, when you have a new replace, even with the replacement cardamizers, you need to fill up, fill them up from the top first. 
uh, then you know then you fill up the tank. Um, definitely give this a, a try, guys. It's it's um, it's kind of my staple. It's kind of where I'm happy at right now in in the vaping world. Um, it's it's what I when I find a flavour that I like and I like to rock it. Um, I'll put it in my um, F16 Cardo tank because once you fill this baby up, you don't have to fill it up for a whole day, whole night, like a day and night. You don't have to fill it up to the next day. It's it's really really good actually. <laughs> it's there's so much vapor coming from it too. Alright, thanks guys. Uh, thanks for hanging with me today. And uh, yeah, like I said, you know, this has definitely got the thumbs up from me. It's a 9 out of 10. Um, and you should, without a doubt, give it a try. Alright, thanks guys. See ya.